Hello everyone and welcome to another notable chess game from the 19th century of chess. And in this chess game, White is a player named W. Schwartz. He is not a popular player and there is zero information about this player in the database. And his opponent is a popular player for his time. His opponent, who is playing with the black pieces, is Felix Kiseritsky, and he is famous with his immortal game against Adolf Anderson. Although in that game Kiseritsky lost the match, but that game was a perfect game, and in the future I'm also planning to show that game in this channel. So this game is also one of the notable chess games of the 19th century, and Kiseritsky is actually a strong player for his time, and his opponent, who is playing with the white pieces, W. Schwartz, was not that strong player. At least there is zero information about that player, so he was not an important chess player of the 19th century. And Kiseritsky was a mathematics teacher, and he was a chess player. So anyway, let's check this very entertaining chess game. So this game was played in Paris in 1842 and Schwartz, who is playing with the white pieces, starts the game with playing d4, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, accepted, d takes on c4, e4, f5, e5, bishop to e6, knight to c3, and we have c6, queen to f3, g6, knight to h3, bishop to d5, and then knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, and Schwartz played knight to f4, attacking the pawn, attacking on d5. So after this move, Felix Kiseritsky played queen to a5, that's check, blocking with the bishop, and then queen to b6, and Kiseritsky is attacking on b2. But Schwartz is not defending the pawn, and he played queen takes on d5, queen takes on b2, and the game gets more interesting after this move. So as you can see, black is attacking the rook, and should white defend the rook in this position? Well, interestingly, Schwartz, the player who has zero information in the database, the player who is considered as the underdog played a surprising move while well, he played bishop takes on c4. Kseritsky, the more important player who has the confidence, captured the rook on a1 without having any problems, without thinking. And after this move, Schwartz played king to e2 and then queen takes on h1. Kseritsky captures the second rook. Black has two extra rooks, and materially, white is losing. But this was the little trap of Schwartz. Schwartz set up a little trap for his opponent. After this move, there is force checkmate in seven moves. And Schwartz solved the force checkmate. And can you guess the force checkmate in this position? Can you guess the moves of Schwartz? So if you want, you can pause the video and try to guess the move. So that's seven moves combination. And Schwartz played queen to f7, check, king to d7, and then e6, that's check again, king to c7, knight to d5, king to c6, queen to e8, that's check again, king to d6, and then bishop to f4, check. And where is the king going? King takes on e6. And Schwartz played a very beautiful move. He played knight to f6. That's check, sacrificing the knight. And that's a discover attack to the king with the bishop. And after this move, the one and only move is king takes knight. Schwartz played queen to f7. That's checkmate. And look at this beautiful checkmate. Look at the beautiful combination. So Schwartz 
So the first checkmate in seven moves. And the underdog wins the game. The unknown player wins the game very artistically. What a beautiful chess game from the 19th century of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye for now.